Hello everyone! Today we're going to be starting the Rising Tide DLC for Final Fantasy 16, and this is one that I have been really looking forward to because it has to do with Leviathan, and Leviathan is probably my favorite summon in the Final Fantasy universe. I've always just loved Leviathan, just this water serpent, so beautiful, majestic, huge, lots of power the blues he, just everything about leviathan i love she's amazing so i have been looking forward to this and i hope you guys are going to be excited to go through this journey with me through the rising tide dlc this is probably going to be a few episodes and i will see you guys at the end of it for my final thoughts so hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you back then all right, see you guys in the comments too. I look forward to hearing what you guys think about this DLC. All right, what's this? Sid, I shall not waste time mincing words. Leviathan's dominant is in need of rescue and despite any innumerable misgivings about joining hands with an outlaw of the highest disrepute, the dame has assured me that there is none better suited to the task at hand. I dare not reveal more for fear this missive could fall into the wrong hands. But if what little I have penned here have, has kindled your interest, I bid you journey to the Vale in Northreach and inquire with one Walela. She will surely see you satisfied. Heed the mysterious request. Yes. Let's do it. Leviathan the Lost. Leviathan. Oh, I know. After all this time. Good question. Why, what now? Oh, I'm not sure you'd believe me if I told you. After all we've been through. I doubt there's anything that could surprise me at this point. <laughs> all right then. Rouse Joshua and meet me in the mess. We'll talk there. I see we're all here. Otto. So, what is it this time? I'm not sure yet. The letter delivered to my chambers omitted a few crucial details. Do we know its provenance? That was one of the details it omitted. But whoever the sender was, it seems the dame held them in high enough regard to point them in our direction. The dame? Well, she's not one to waste our time. It must be important. Important might be an understatement. If the letter is to be believed, Leviathan's dominant is in danger. And someone wants us to save him. Leviathan? So the Warden of Water has finally returned. What has it been? A hundred years? More. The lost moniker dates back at least that long. Even our venerable lawsman would not have been so much as a glint in his father's eye when last the mighty serpent brought his crushing waves to bear upon the realm. But why the gap? I know it can be a few years before a new dominant's born, but over a century? Should the dominant of water's bloodline have been severed somehow, it could have prevented a new dominant from awakening. But if one has awakened now, he couldn't have chosen a worse time. Every nation in the realm has lost its dominant. If word gets out that there is still one to be had, they will stop at nothing to claim it for their own. And the twins will be at war again, just when humanity most needs to come together. Did the letter say anything else? Only that if I wish to know more, we must meet in person. And that the Veil vale can arrange a meeting. Hmm. If nothing else, you can be certain it ain't a trap. <laughs> Famous last words. I'm coming with you. As am I. Thank you. Both of you. And Otto? Yeah, yeah. I'll keep an eye on things here. Didn't fancy coming anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I shall leave the Invincible in your capable hands.
Quest accepted the rising tide. All right, so let's go to North Reach. Find out about this water leviathan dominant the so they take another uh, the there were then. yeah so the veil it is thank you clive um the there were theories floating about that i saw that the little girl that little girl um who helps dion is the the what she had a, the the oh gosh what was she selling the medicine girl Looks yeah, like you've got what first. was her little jingle? We can remedy that. Can you now? Solstices, something, something, something. Anyways, she was adorable. Um, there were theories that she is the Leviathan. And there were theories that the child of... Well, I guess it wouldn't make sense, but there were all also theories that the child of the... The lady that we saved and Gav took a fancy to, the pregnant one, that her child was Leviathan. I don't know if any of those turned out to be true, but we're gonna find out if it's if it's the little medicine girl or if it's uh, somebody completely different. So I have no idea. So we'll I'm see. Looking for a Layla. <laughs> you found one. So. Will your friends be joining in? Or just watching? <laughs> Do we have time for a detour? Uh, we're not here for your services. Oh, we simply want to talk. All right. What you do with your time is up to you. The price is still the same. <laughs> Her laugh is a little bit creepy. Uh, we hear about the letter. Oh, oh, <laughs> sorry. I suppose you'll be wanting to know who wrote it then. Among other things. Look, I'm just the messenger here. There's only so much I can tell you. Specifically? A location north of town on the shore of Isla Feist Bay. There you'll find a tent and the woman who can answer your questions. And that's all? Nothing else. Actually, one thing. There's more than flowers in the meadows these days. So keep that sword of yours to hand. I will. Plan? I plan on it. Okay, good advice. Does yeah. anyone else think it's strange that this woman should prefer to keep to the outskirts of town? Not if she realizes the value of the information she's party to. And the danger it puts her in. I haven't seen any of those beastly blue-eyed fiends again. Do be careful. I will. Okay. <sighs> We're here. One of my favorite spots. One of my favorite views of the game. Oh, guess we're fighting. I'm level 50. Don't, don't try to mess with me. How do you run in this game again? I guess you just, I guess just like that, okay. I was wondering if there was a button, specific button I was supposed to push that I've forgotten about, but... The tent is where Layla said it would be. Yes, but who awaits us inside? This doesn't seem like a great spot. It's like really out in the open. It doesn't seem safe at all. It's empty. Why am I not surprised? A bow. 
Brute. No prizes for guessing who that belongs to. So, do we just wait for her to come back? The embers are still warm. Now I want s'mores. Oh, that sounds so good. So you're Sid. I suppose I must be. Which means you have me at a disadvantage. Apologies. I am Shula, tributary of Mesidia, final haven of the Moats of Water. The Moats of Water. The very tribe into which it was believed Leviathan's dominant was born. A people notable for their sapphire eyes and ivory hair. Yes, that would be impossible, since the tribe famously... Vanished. Was exterminated. <laughs> Despite the best efforts of both church and state, we are still very much alive. Though we've managed to keep that fact hidden from good Grieger's faithful for over a century. Along with Leviathan's dominant. That wave out there. What do you know of it? The surge. Oh, yeah. Only that it's been there a long time. I remember that thing. Since the fall of Drake's Eye almost a century ago. Some claim the two are connected, but none can speak with any certainty. So in other words, you know nothing. Not that I'll hold it against you. Well, that sounded the very judgmental when you said Leviathan it. In an act of rage. Moments before the waters were stayed, and the icon and its dominant bound within. And you want us to rescue him? Yes. So it's not the you medicine see, girl. <laughs> a little bird told me about a certain outlaw with a singular knack for putting unruly dominance in their place. And ours is about as unruly as they get. For years, we've searched for someone who could hold their own against an icon. Someone just like you. So what do you say? Will you help us? What exactly did your dominant do to warrant this punishment? What did he do? He committed the greatest crime one of his kind can. He was born. But he deserves a better fate than the one my people forced upon him. He deserves to be free. As do we all. Very well. Far-fetched though your tale may seem. Something tells me you speak in earnest. So we will do what we can for your dominant. But first, you will tell us everything you know about him and the means of his imprisonment. I can do better than that. I can show you. Care to take a trip across the bay? Yes, please. My people await you there. Lead the way. The Lost Cloak. Oh, this is exciting. Leviathan has always been like my favorite summon icon. 
Esper, you know, whatever, whatever it may be. All right. I think Leviathan's my favorite. Something. We're coming up on the wall and passing through can take a bit of getting used to. I don't see any wall. Of course you don't. That's the point. It's a glamour woven by our ancestors to keep our village hidden from prying eyes. But don't take my word for it. Watch. of Bacchus wine. Clive, the sky. It's blue, but how is that possible? You do know what a glamour is, don't you? Ours just happens to work both ways, and a good thing too. I wouldn't fancy staring at those sickly clouds every day. Okay, that's got me pumped up. Yeah, I also love Bahamut. And um, Odin's cool. I mean, once I start naming my favorite ones, and I'll just start naming all of them, you know, but... And that concludes our little voyage. We're here. I gotta say, Leviathan's my number one. It's a long slog to the village, and a hard one. I uh, hope you're up for a climb. Yes. Looks beautiful. You didn't think we'd arrive, did you? Ooh, waterfall. The village isn't up here. It's on the other side of the mountain. Of course it is. <laughs> Should we touch this? Must we touch this? I don't remember how this works. Okay, I guess I can't touch it. Okay. This is gonna be. Oh, let's take a look. Ah. Watch yourself, Sid. This path can be treacherous. If not for the sheer drop, then for the beasts who prowl it. Thank you for the warning. And please, call me Clive. Sid is an alias. You will be pleased to learn, Lady Shula, that I have no such aliases. Is that so, Lord Margrace? It's all the same to me. I'm ready. I'm so ready. Let's go. Twelve sharp fangs. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me twelve sharp fangs. <laughs> Hello? I was wondering when they'd pick up our scent. Wolf trap, level 50. Perfect oh, level know. for us. Shall I keep my axe and spells to myself? <laughs> Let the pros handle this. Ow. Oh, 
now. Like I said, let the pros handle this after a quick nap. Okay, that's that's annoying. That's annoying. Josh, get up. Earlier you mentioned spells, yet I see you carry no crystals. Since when did a bearer ever need crystals? But then, where is your brand? Waiting for me in Sunbreak, if I ever get careless. Yeah, never got branded. <laughs> then it's in for a long wait. Northern Wolf. Cave action going You're on. Almost at the summit. From there, you'll have a better view of our home. Okay. Few have ever set eyes on what I'm about to show you. Just so you know. This is not what I expected. Welcome, my friends. To Mesidia. What in the world is that? What is that? Whoa. It's been a long time since I saw the North looking so. so. alive. How I'm sure. You have plenty of questions, but it's been a long journey, and I expect we could all do with a rest. Our humble village is only a short way from here. If you'd care to accompany me. Yes, please. Let's get ourselves in front of a fire, and I'll tell you everything you need to know. Beautiful, Shula. It is. And we aim to keep it that way. Pretty piano. <coughs> Hello. Hello. You're very strange looking. You look kind of creepy. Are you know what? Stones glowing. That's one of the cairns which maintain the glamour. Stay well clear. Can I talk now? Is that okay? One of the things that Final Fantasy games are really good at is just the vibes, you know, the vibes. And this game has some serious vibes, but they all do. It's the music, the music and just the beautiful scenery, even if it's pixel art, it's always like top notch. <laughs> As long as I can punch things, I'm just happy in this game, you know? I just punch the things. Search was an act of rage. One wonders what prompted it. Well, I can't wait to find out. I can't 
reach you. Yes, I can. What's this? Oh, I have to come back for that. Oh, I fucked that up. Damn it! No. I'm sleeping. in my room could we not have spared ourselves the mountain crossing by landing further north in clear view of the bear hey joshua this is this is great what are you complaining about Take a little detour. <gasps> Look at that bird. You want to get close to it? Are you going to fly away? Oh, this is a travesty. No. Well, bye, birdie. Looks like an egret or something similar. It's like lots of big bugs flying around here. On evening tides. Does morning's light return? Password. Open the gates! The tributary is home! Of that dog? All right now, back to your duties. You'll have to forgive my people their curiosity. We don't get many visitors. Or any, truth be told. Then we are honored to be the first. This is quite extraordinary. Like stepping into another world. So do you believe me now? You've made it difficult not to, my lady. But how did your people chance to settle here, in the north? Unless I am much mistaken, the moats of water long called the coasts of Southern Ash their home. Until Drake's horn fell and the blight forced them ever inland, where... We met our doom, along with our dominant. I see you've read the Gregorian Church's account, but perhaps you'd like to hear ours. That building over there is the Witten Hall. It's where my people gather to discuss matters of import. We can speak more inside once the place is ready to receive you. It shouldn't take long, but you're welcome to explore the village while I see to things. Thank you. We'll do just that. Exploring time. Mm. 
Pablo. Ooh, lots of birds. We'll start this way, this direction. The stalks are thin, the leaves limp. We should dress the soil with dung and straw at once, or I fear for the autumn harvest. So they're growing. What is this? Is this wheat? And what's this? Cabbage? And what's this? Don't know what that is. more to explore but so far there's not really much let's see what else we got here i give you my grain you give me your eggs everyone's happy except for the eggs maybe or eggs Sorry, but I don't like it. Outsiders should stay on the outside. Oh, I thought that was gonna, she was going to respond or something. Man, this is beautiful. Wait, where does the water go? Oh, that way. And they've got all these little bridges. Bridges are fun. Bridges like this are fun. We must flee. It's all right. They're the tributary's guests. After what their kind did to us, it's, it's wrong. I'm sorry. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. It looks like things might open up after we talk to her. Look, that one's got a black cape. Do you think he's the leader? I am. Um, I think, uh, like this guy looks like a blacksmith we could talk to, but it looks like he's not ready to talk to us yet. Look, Nan, it's the outsiders. Maybe we should wait to explore like a little bit after. everywhere I looked. It was all I could do to me at the back of heaven without being torn limb from limb. All you could do. And there I was thinking you were a bearer. Did you hear that, girl? You're going with father today. If you don't mind, Amanda, I'm in a hurry. These choke. Remember, we were looking at the chocobos in Final Fantasy XII? These ones look the same. They look very similar, don't they? They look almost exactly the same from what I remember. The tributary is in the Witten Hall, as you should be. 
She told me to explore. You guys are just not nice. All right, let's get to this hall. There's nothing to see or do here right now. The poor things are as pale as ghosts. Are they unwell? Uh, I don't think so, ma'am. It's just the way they are. <laughs> Welcome to Haven. The tributary awaits you within the Witten Hall. All right, I'm ready. Tired of these jerks. So what do you think of our little haven in the woods? Sucks. It might not have all the comforts of a southern settlement, but at least it's ours. And there's a lot to be said for that. It can't have been easy keeping this place a secret. Not easy, no. We've dedicated our lives to maintaining the glamour that conceals us. Us and Walius. This man, Walius, is he Leviathan's dominant? That's right. Though he's no man, Walius is still a baby. A baby? <sighs> Forgive me. But you said that the Dominant and his Icon were bound inside the Surge almost a century ago. That would surely make him older still. Would make him it dead, would, probably. If he'd been allowed to age. But the spell robbed the poor Bairn of even that. I'm sorry. Walius was the son of my great-grandfather. Leviathan awoke within him almost immediately. But instead of allowing the lad to live out his life as a valued member of the community, my ancestors sought to put his power to other uses. Sadly for them, the icon sensed their treachery and summoned a wave so large it would have swallowed the entire village if my ancestors hadn't stopped him. Then it is not the surge that binds the child, but time itself. Yes. Forgive me. I'm still not sure I understand. Same. I'm not surprised. It isn't the easiest thing to explain. Which is why it might be better if I took you to see him. Let's show go. you exactly what he has to endure. That is why we came. Then let us be off. There's a road that leads north from the village. It'll take us right into the surge. I'm ready. So this is her great, great uncle or something like that. Are you bound for the wave, tributary? We are, Delina. Have you spread the word about our guests? I have. Everyone knows to treat them as family. You shouldn't have any trouble now, but just in case, I would have you accept this symbol of our people. You accept the ceaseless That's something, something, kind. something. Thanks, okay. I look forward to meeting the family. The feeling's mutual. Should the tributary be indisposed, feel free to ask me any questions you might have regarding the village, and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you. We will. Then I bid you good tide. Thank you. Okay, Our so... Our storehouse Ooh. lies across the bridge. If you're short of supplies, you may find what you need there. Though we will have to ask you for recompense, poor as we are. There are side quests in this DLC. Yes, my lord. Let's, okay. Let's uh, let's take our time and do as we do. Be thorough and talk to everybody. Do all the sub, the side quests, and have a good time. Ask about Delina. My name is Delina. 
and I serve as adjutant to Lady Shula, tributary of Mysidia. While other adjutants who came before me played the role of guardian as well as aid, Lady Shula is an able warrior in her own right and requires no protection. So I assist her in ministering to our people's affairs while she is absent or indisposed. By way of example. It, it, it was I who informed the rest of the village of your coming at the tributary's request. If there is aught you wish to know of our people or our village, please do not hesitate to ask. Right, let's ask about the village. As I'm sure you're aware. This land was once the domain of the Northern Thanes, though the settlement had lain abandoned for some time when our ancestors' wanderings finally brought them here. Remote as it was, it seemed to them the ideal place to settle, and they duly cast the glamour over it that their new home might remain the hidden. The secret of the spell itself. Oh my god, that's a lot of dialogue. The secret of the spell... Hold on. Can I move my camera up? A little bit more? Maybe? The secret of the spell itself had been passed down from generation to generation. Since the time we left Ash. We, would u we used it to disguise our camps. That the custodians of the lands through which we wandered should not learn of our trespass. And it was these temporary enchantments which led our ancestors to contemplate a more permanent solution upon arriving here. So they built the cans. So they built the cans, filled with all the shards of crystal and the, tri the tribe could spare, and summoned forth a glamour large enough to cover the entire land. And for many days and nights thereafter, their bearers labored to attune the spell that the outside world might see this place slowly succumb to the blight. And thus we hid ourselves away. Welcoming none into our private haven. Until you, that is. At first, the spell only worked one way. It was only after the skies changed that we conjured a second illusion for the benefit of those inside. It was Lady Shula's idea, a salve for the nerves of those who feared the roiling storm clouds were a harbinger of the end. I pray that it brings you a little relief from the darkness of the world beyond the wall, as it has done us. It's very lovely. Ask about the moats of water. Our story began. On the narrow coasts of Southern Ash, where, for want of arable land, we relied on the mountain rains to quench our thirst, and the bounty of the sea to fill our bellies, and thus did we learn the value of water. After the fall of Drake's Horn. We spent decades in exile, Drifting across the deserts and snowfields of the Twins, till at last we arrived here in Mysidia, our second home. Here we found mountains, rivers, and seas, not unlike those of our first home in Ash. All that we lacked was crystal. We have no mother crystal of our own here, nor have we ever received any stipend from our neighbors. Were it not for the few shards we have been able to stockpile during our wanderings in Storm, we might never have survived the first few winters, let alone cast the glamour that protects us. For to demand that the bears among us sacrifice their lives for the benefit of the others was never an option. The hardships we had faced on our journey had brought us together, and we would not be divided again. Thankfully, our unity proved our strength, and so we have stayed, dependent only upon the blessings which this land provides, the springs, the rivers, the seas, these are all we mo these are all we most of water need. Fare you well, my lord. Thank you. Bum, bum. Let's grab our first Sit. side quest. Yes, Worda. Word. You are Sid, aren't you? The man the tributary told us about. I wonder if you could help me. With what exactly? What tipped you oh, off? Was it my black hair? <laughs> Do you know my husband, Pavart? He's the village smith, among among other things. Anyway, his name day is not far off, and I wanted to make a gift for him. He's a craftsman, you see, and he's been fretting about running low on the flowers he uses for dye making. So I wondered if you might collect some for me and give them to him. Uh, would this gift 
not be better coming from you? Perhaps, but it can't, for reasons I can't go into. Please, I know it sounds daft, but I'd be ever so grateful. Alright. <laughs> Fine. Which flowers does your husband need? The sweet little blue ones that grow around the fount. Elder's blessings, they're called. We use them to dye our fabric so we we'll always feel close to water like they are. You don't need to go to the trouble of picking them yourself, though. Just speak to the field hands and ask them to share their harvest with you. Two basketfuls should be enough for my husband to be getting on with. Two basketfuls it is. I wonder why she can't just do this herself. <laughs> Seems kind of strange. Just go literally right down the road and ask them for some flowers. But I'm sure she has her reasons. I'm not arguing. The child... Excuse me. I wonder, might you be able to spare a basket of Elder's blessings? Pavard's wife tasked me with collecting some for her husband and suggested that I speak to you. Ah. Werder wants you to bless a better half with the fruits of our labor, does she? Go on then. Give the old fool something to squirm about. I'm sorry. Ah, don't worry about it. An old fool Pavart may be, but if you come bearing gifts, he's not fool enough to turn you away. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. Well, we got one. The mirrors. My people believe they frighten off trespassing demons by showing them the evil in their hearts. Would you care to take a look? Sure. Ah, welcome to Haven, friend. Thank you. Forgive my presumptuousness, but the smith's wife has asked me to make her husband a present of some elder's blessings. Two basketfuls to be precise. Well, I have one, if that's any help. Perfect. It is. I'm much obliged. They really are beautiful. Aren't they just? Though that's not the only reason they have a special place in our hearts. Legend has it that when our people fled from Ash, the tributary of the time took some seeds with them. And as they wandered high and low across the twins, he'd plant them wherever they stopped for water. Every elder since has done the same. So when we finally put down roots here in Mesidia, the flowers did too. Let's do basketfuls. But complete. After completing the main objective of some quest, you may be given the option to quick travel. Oh, okay. Time to visit Pavat. How do I? Oh. Report. Yes. Okay, I like that. Not super necessary for this, since everything's so close, but at least I know how to do it now. Alright, let's see. What do you want? Your wife asked me to bring you these flowers. <sighs> that woman. Come out, I know you're there. <laughs> She's so giggly. Would either of you care to explain what's going on? Um, 
I'm sorry. I didn't mean to deceive you. It's just my husband can be a bit standoffish at times, and I thought this might be a good way for the two of you to get acquainted. What with you being a swordsman like and him being the only smith in the village? It'd be a shame if you couldn't turn to him for help. The only reason he couldn't turn to me for help is because I had my hands full with all the orders you lot dumped on me. I'm pretty much done with them now, though. But, for the record, the tributary said that we were to lend you outsiders our aid, and that's exactly what I was planning to do. With or without my darling wife's meddling. Still, here we are. Acquainted. So, if there's out you need, just bring us the materials, all right? All right. All right, then. And tar for the flowers. I was running low. You use them for dyeing, I hear. Aye. Crush the petals and it makes a fine and lasting blue. We use it to stain the cloth for our tunics and pennons. To remind us where we come from, like. As moats of water. Children of the sea. That's right. The pattern, too, was left by our ancestors. The ceaseless rill, it's called. It symbolizes the river of our tribe, with the strength of Leviathan running through it. And no matter how that river has ebbed, flawed, changed its course, the flowers have always been with us, growing on our banks. <clears throat> I should get back to work. If you need something crafting, let me know. It's on her oh, well. skirt, on her dress. I'm kind of blocking it, but that symbol. <laughs> Wasn't it just? Oh, well that was quick. We got some experience from it and Titanic block enhances Titan's iconic feet Titanic block making it capable to block attacks from behind while restoring a small amount of the HP regain gauge. Ooh, that might come in really handy for me. I wish I, you know, it would be nice if for the DLC, since I'm getting all these nice new accessories, that if they would give me one more accessory slot as like, you know, a little gift so that I could use more accessories. What is it you want? Okay, so is there anything here we can craft that is new or none of this stuff is an upgrade? What about this thing? No. Well, damn. Reinforce. All in bracelets? Is that what we're equipped with right now? Well, that do, yeah. Better than you. Well, we can get fallen bracelets plus two. Till next time, then. Seems pretty good, I guess. What about the belt? Can we reinforce Reckon the belt? My steel's just as good as any. Reinforce. Fallen. Belt. Better than you. Done. Here we go. Okay. Till next time, then. Thank you. Maybe we'll have more stuff later.
Minwoo's Cup, the Witten Hall we just came from, the Foundry, Forge, the Stores, and another side quest. Okay, doesn't look like there's too much. What's that little percussion that they do in this game? Boop, boop, boop. What instrument is that? Is it like a bongo or something? Hi, XBB. How you doing? Anyways, whatever it's called, I like it. I like how they utilize it so often in this game, like for the town themes and stuff. Thank you, Hwanka. Thank you. Okay. Let's see what this guy's got for us. Where in the blue heavens is that girl got to? Oh, I'll have her hide when she gets back. Oh, sorry. I was leagues away. How can I help you? If you're after something from the storehouse, it's actually my wife you'll want to talk to. She will have to charge you for the goods, though. Not that would fleece you or anything. It's just, you know, needs must. I understand. Saying that, she might not be able to get anything down for you for a bit. Ah, right. She's got her hands full with the inventory, you see. It should have been my daughter's job, really, but the willful little rills decided to make herself scarce. Ah, the heavens only know where that girl's got to. If you'd like me to keep an eye out for her. Oh, no. I couldn't ask that of an outsider. Could I? You wouldn't mind. I'm the leading man, after all. Of course not. She won't have gone far, will she? I hope not. But I've scoured the entire village for her and come up empty-handed. <laughs> Can't help thinking she might have gone on another one of her little adventures. Ah. A free spirit, is she? Aye, that she is. Can't get her to sit still. Especially once you heard you lot were on your way. Outsiders! You should have seen her little eyes light up. Oh, if she wanted to watch you arrive, she'd have made for the low gate where you first came in. The guard there might have spotted her. Maybe you could ask him. Uh, Ruka, her name is. All right. I'll let you know if I find her. Try not to worry. I'm on the case. Okay, back the way we came. I like that. Excuse me. You haven't seen the storekeeper's daughter, have you? Little Ruka. I have, as it happens. She went out through the gate not long ago. Out of the village? Alone? Aye. She does it all the time. There's a path off to the left which leads down to the river. Nice little spot, that. It's safe as you like. The beasts of the mountain don't dare come so close to the village. That's where she'll be. Go and have a look if you don't believe me. I will. I think this is the spot we went to earlier. This must be the path. It's so beautiful. Yep, yep, we came over here earlier. I don't see anybody though. Oh, yes, I do. They're not here either. What you looking for? Boo. Looking everywhere for you. Oh, she's cute. You must be Rooka. You know my name? Can you lot read minds? <laughs> <laughs> Your father asked me to keep an eye out for you. You left without telling him where you were going. He was worried. But I went to look for you. Well, now you found me. 
What do you say we head back to the village and let your father know you're safe? All right. And on the way home, you can tell me all about the world beyond the wall. I want to know everything. <laughs> everything might be a stretch. Thank you for bringing her home, and uh, sorry for the trouble. Oh, no. It was a pleasure. Daddy, did you know that there are villages ten times as big as Haven in the outside world? Ten times! What? Cities, they call them. And in oh, these cities, yes. they have great big walls and towers and castles. Oh, <laughs> to think I was worried. You can tell me all about the outside world later, sweet pea. Now go and help your mum with the stores. All right. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with her questions. She uh, has a lot of them. Most children do. One of the big ones being, what are the people beyond the wall like? Reckon you've made a good first impression. Are we the only one she's ever met? That you are. The rest of the world can't know we're here, so we'll have to be very careful who we're letting in and out. A few of us might make the occasional trip to shore for supplies, but for the most part, we'll make do with what we've got, including what the old northern has left us. Yes. You built on top of the old ruins, didn't you? Well, they make for fine foundations. Their masons clearly knew what they were doing. That's one thing we don't have to worry about. <laughs> oh, it's everything else that's the problem. Medicines, metals for tool making, anything like that. We have to dress up as traveling merchants and make a trip to the outside and pray to every cloud in the heavens that nobody sees through us. Uh, which explains why you need Gil. Aye. And now Rook is back, my wife should be free to assist you with any potential purchases. So please, do make good use of our stores, because we fully intend to make good use of your coin. Okay, well. <laughs> I'll be sure to keep my purse strings loose. I don't know. I stocked up before I came here, so... No promises, but I'll see... I'll see what I can do. Nice. Hey, Ratmus. Did he just do the Blitzball play a uh, prayer no i don't think isn't blitzball like the like this or some well are you talking about blitzball or just the yevin doesn't in final fantasy 10 don't they do something like this i don't know does anybody know you got your blitzball team to level 99 it's the same one in this game? As in this game, they go like this? Or... You guys can't show me. You guys have to type, so it makes it a little more, more difficult. <laughs> oh, the Blitzball and the Yevin thing are the same. And isn't it something like this? Don't they make like a rectangle? I don't know. Haven stores now available. Oh, so you need to do the side quest just to get access to the shops here. It's a pity nothing but the foundations were left standing. A whole storehouse made of stone would make it a lot easier to keep our supplies in good nick. Will you be back soon? You've still got to tell me everything else about the outside world. GQ. Okay, let's see what you have. Thanks for bringing me daughter back. I don't grudge her looking for adventure, but she's got to pull away it like the rest of us. Anyway, now we've got the inventory done, I can attend to my own tasks, like seeing to our visitors' needs. So, was the role you wanted? Maybe. I will have to charge you. Ooh, 
I can help you out. A Minwu waist cloth. Wow. Well, I upgraded the fallen belt and now it's just I don't need it anymore. Well, uh, if you sure you need it. I mean, I don't need it, but it'll help, so May it serve you well. I'll take it. Ooh, safe haven orchestrian roll. <laughs> 25,000. Okay, I can afford it. Well, uh, if you sure you need it. And then everything else I am well and stuck. I'll be here. Okay. All right, so let's go. What do you let's think go. How long do you think this bridge is? Let's go to this frozen wave. Suddenly, the occurs And go see the Leviathan thingy. There's a pair of ships just up ahead. Ships? But are we not still leagues from the shore? Is there a river that we get to go through? The quickest route to the surge is due east, past the second galley. Shula, how did these ships come to be here? What do you imagine happens when an icon of water gets angry? Really, brother, did you have to ask? Oh. The ships are uh, not in water. <laughs> they got tossed onto the land, it looks like. What's over here? We gotta explore around a bit. This trail only leads deeper into the forest. We should head back. Can I at least get that whatever item that is? Aha! All right, I'm guessing maybe we'll come back this way later on. I'll be a good, I'll be a good little Clive and I'll, I'll go where I'm supposed to go. A map yeah I have a map would you like to see it Woo. look at all this we gotta go this way we won't find Walius this way the sea lies behind us I know I'm just getting items okay I see something shiny. I have to get it. Hey, there's people here. Hello, what you doing? No, I still haven't mended the bridge. And I never bloody will if people don't leave me to my work. So curmudgeonly. All right, so the path we wanted, we want to go back this way. Curmudgeon sounds like a weapon. Do you bludgeon people with your curmudgeon? Oh, spiders, right. Oh, 
Burn it with fire seems to be a general thing that you can do against Spike. Oh gosh, hello. Oh, we should watch her do her stuff. She's got a big old axe. What are- Oh! Tonberries! Level 50 Tonberry Creeper? There's so many of them! Tonberries. Foul creatures consumed by their hatred for everyone and everything. Everything save with sharp knives, it seems. Creepy. Look at their little tails. They have like whale tails. That's interesting. Quite interesting. I think tonberries work really well in like a um a turn-based kind of combat style it's harder to make them work with action combat like this i feel like they did a pretty good job though in, in remake they did a decent job Always gonna be best suited to a uh, turn based. They're just slowly, slowly creeping towards. I can smell the sea. Towards your party, so slowly. Cool that we get to see it up How close. Will we reach the surge? We'll follow the coastline north. There's a bridge that'll take us across to the cape. You don't want to go down there. Trust me. Do I Maybe even need to I ask why? Do. That's so cool. This is exciting. I saw it from far away in the base game and and now I get to see it up close and go right up to it. Look at this guy. And a man toys. Arcalon. Oh. Yeah. 
this is cool. lightning which is good to know oh man that was tough might i inquire about the ray of light yeah it's what I prevents know. the surge from being reclaimed by the sea and walius by his people Is that what keeps it frozen? And it's up here. I guess we're gonna have to go up here and probably turn it off or something. That's what I'm guessing. Another one. Do I want to put on this new thing that I got? Um, let's see. Improves limit break, induced enhancements, uh, berserker, increased attack proficiency with each precision dodge, increased rate at which damage multiplier risers when enemies are staggered. I like all of these. I don't want to take any off. I kind of want to put on the thing, this one, Titanic block, but I don't know what I would take away. I guess I'll take away my old thing and replace it with something new. I have all new accessories that we've gotten in the DLCs. There you go. You said before that the child is bound within the surge. But you've yet to tell us how we're meant to reach him. 
I trust we won't have to hold our breath. No. The surge wraps around the cape without engulfing it. If we continue to its tip, there is a path down to the seabed. And the wave's origin. All right. It won't be the first dominant we've met at the bottom of the ocean. The Surge. Let's go. Not much further now. The path seems well kept. Do you and the villagers often come this way? Only me. Once every new moon without fail. It is my duty both as village elder and Walius's descendant. But surely no one blames you for what happened. Why should you bear the responsibility alone? You misunderstand. I do it because I want to. To show him that he isn't alone, and that there are still some of us who would see an end to his suffering. Suffering you will soon witness with your own eyes. Okay. The forest grows quickly here. Left unattended, the path would be reclaimed in a matter of moods. Did they say it was a child or a baby? I don't remember. Because I have in my mind the image of a baby, but I don't remember if that's what they said. Does the light point the way to the child? It does indeed. Man, this is so cool. Look at this. Wow. Look at all the droplets of water suspended in midair. Yeah. Where they have remained untouched by time for 80 summers. It's... It's not right. No. It's not. Another giant crater. Down in the center. Follow me. Newborn. He's still primed. I'll never forget my first priming. The fear. And I was old enough to understand what was happening. One can only imagine how this poor child felt. He is the victim of an unforgivable sin. Committed by people who saw him as nothing but a means to an end. He must be so frightened. Then I'll ease his burden. You don't mean... I'm not going to hurt him. Contrary to the tales, I don't go around killing dominance for no reason. What if I told you... There was a way to remove Wallace's icon. 
I tell you, you were a madman. It's hard to believe, I know. But it can be done. Oh, it isn't without its risks. Part of the icon remains no matter what. So, it might still come to violence? I don't know. It depends on the dominant. I've seen things unwell, and I've seen things spiral out of control. But I do know one thing. If we turn our backs on this child, there will be no end to his suffering. And I think that a worse fate than the alternative. Don't you? Very well. Do what you must. And whatever happens, I will own the consequences. This kid is going to grow up with a bunch, a lot of trauma. Poor thing. Don't be afraid, little one. Let me bear the weight. I think so. I can feel the icon inside me. I want to fight the Leviathan. Something's wrong. Yes, something's wrong. Fight, 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 fight. You're not Leviathan. He wasn't just afraid. He was angry. All right. Let's see what you've given me. Yeah, I want to fight the baby. <laughs> Power of water. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Leviathan's essence. Attuning with Leviathan not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic Abilities such as Crosswell, an inescapable rush of water that pummels enemies from multiple angles. Ability details are fine found in the main menu. Leviathan's iconic feat, Serpent's Cry, can be used to summon to Clive's off arm a sea spitting serpent capable of dealing precision strikes to enemies at great distances. Pressing trying uh that's not a triangle. Pressing square in this state will unleash a tidal torrent. Multiple bursts of water capable of forcefully knocking back smaller creatures while pressing triangle will fire a powerful jet of water, a tidal stream at enemies situated just outside melee range. Using these attacks will deplete your tidal gauge, becoming unavailable when the gauge is empty. The gauge will slowly replenish over time. It can be refilled quicker by pressing circle. Time a second press perfectly with the on-screen prompt to immediately refill the gauge as well as earn unlimited ammunition for a short period of time. The title gauge is also replenished when successfully executing a precision, precision dodge. While using Serpent's Cry, pressing R1 again while dodging will cause Clive to roll in the air. Extending the dodge even further, title torrent can be used while rolling by pressing square. Only Leviathan's abilities are available during this battle. Is that Leviathan? No, just an enemy, but a formidable adversary nonetheless. Oh, 
friends. Oh god. Deluge. Cross swell. There you go. I'm like, how do I get out of this? Refill business too much. Probably get out of this. Ow. Hey, bro. Is everyone all right? He seems calmer now. You said Walius was frozen in time. That he knew we were here. How? I... I don't know. He's never reacted to anything or anyone. Until now. The child has been bound for nigh on a century. If he has been conscious from the first, we must remove the seal at once. It's not that simple. I wish it were, but... There's more to this tale. It would be better if I explained back at the village. I see. Then let's return before it gets dark. We going to get the baby out of there? I'm sorry, Walius. I will make this right.
So part of Leviathan is inside you now, is it? Does it hurt? No. Not anymore, anyway. Good. Because I still have need of your strength. If you want to know the rest, we should head to the Witten Hall. Of course. Okay, so we have Deluge, Tsunami, Crosswell. Abyssal Tear. Okay, let's try this for a bit. 